Yeah, so Danny, you just have to, to, uh, to enjoy the, the racing this weekend? Yeah, just come, you know, come along to Port William and just, uh, just sort of hang out. Yeah. Um, it's kind of really cool wandering about. And also, uh, I think for the first time this year I'm going to get to go up and have a look properly on the course. Because uh, uh, normally I'm either doing something down the car park and you just see people come over the line, but it's going to be good to actually go up and start watching them on Sunday on the course. Yeah, so are you doing any displays yourself? No, no I'm not actually doing any displays here. Um, something I would love to do, um, but uh, maybe we can organise it for next year. Yeah. Just this is cool to come out. So that's our biggest thing that happens in the UK biking wise, so it's yeah. really good to come along. And what are you actually up to at the moment? I mean, obviously Way Back Home came out at the end of last year. Yes. Did really yeah. well. So yeah, I've been, so I've just been um, so really after Way Back Home I took a little bit of time off my trials bike just to ride mountain bikes and just to kinda of not chill out a bit, but I was I've been kinda of hanging around uh, the sort of Loch Arbor area as well, doing a lot of mountain biking here. <laughs> um, and then I've got some um, a project with Hot uh, in Sweden last week, okay. uh, but unfortunately I had a bit of a crash in my wrist, and uh, so we've got got some filming for it. You know, it should be. It was with Martin Solstrom and Daniel Dare, so it was a really kind of exciting trip. Yeah, should be sure. And then uh, just about to go and do some stuff for a Channel Four documentary next week, and then the big stuff that's happening this year is doing um, doing stuff with Antil and strength and numbers. Uh, yeah. So that's the kind of. For me, that's the kind of big thing I'm, I'm doing this year. Yeah. Um, I really kind of look forward to putting everything into that. So I guess that's the first kind of like really big bike movie that you've been in. You've obviously your own built on really well. Mm -hmm. the first one. Yeah, yeah. Operation. I mean, it's been something I've been. I kind of. That's what I've never said. I, I dreamt about being in one like because I just never imagined I'd get the opportunity. As a, you know, like to get into a big mainstream bike film, but it's. It's always been cool seeing like Ryan Leach and Jeff Nosky and things being in these films and it's amazing to after watching these sections all my life and growing up to actually get to have a part myself. So yeah, it's it's kind of the next step and it's a step I'm really wanting to sort of take into the mountain bike scene more rather than just having YouTube videos and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It'd be nice to kind of um, have stuff that's a little bit more mountain bike mainstream as well. So are you gonna be sort of riding hard like normal that or are you gonna be riding um, I'm not entirely sure. I think, I mean, I'd like to really do a lot of mountain biking as well. Um, you know, we've kind of been hooked up with Orange uh, for yeah. my mountain bikes as well, so uh, it'd be good to go and do some sort of free ready stuff, but um, just a little bit kind of a child rider stiff style on the bike, so I don't know if it was quite sort of that kind of calibre of video worthy. Right. But, uh, you know, so maybe we won't see you doing the rampage quite yet. So. No, I think uh, every time I seem to get on my mountain bike, I crash and burn. You know, like I like to to think I can kind of go fast down the hill and then suddenly it you know, all goes wrong. <laughs> but it's, it's all good fun. Well, have a, have a great weekend. Cool. Thanks a lot for talking to us. This yeah. is uh, Danny Cascoe from Mike Reader.